Hi, this is Kerry Artek with Wicked Stocks, bringing you your daily NVIDIA report for Thursday, October 31st, 2024. But before we check out the charts, I just want to ask you to please click like, share, subscribe, and check out wickedstocks.com, where we offer a full suite of both daily and weekly analytical videos, just like the daily Tesla and daily NVIDIA reports, daily analysis in the SPY, daily analysis in the Triple Q, weekly analysis in the S&P 500 index, the NASDAQ 100 index, and Apple stock, as well as two individual stock picks a week that you never see on YouTube that cater to the three to five week swing trader out to the three to five month near term investor, always looking for 20% moves or more on those underlying stocks. And you get to see all of this for free. We offer a five-day free trial up front. So check out wickedstocks.com. Let's take a look at the charts. You know, before I jump into the charts, I'm going to forget if I don't say it now that on Tuesday of this week, wickedstocks.com put out a stock pick on Cadence Design Systems, large cap stock, right on the precipice of a big move. You should check it out. You can for free by going to wickedstocks.com and taking advantage of our five-day free trial where you can see Cadence and all the other stock picks we put out over the last few weeks, along with our triple Q and our daily spy analysis, weekly Apple, et cetera, et cetera. So go to wickedstocks.com and check out all of our great work. So here we are. Uh, this is the two to three, three to five week time frame I want to present. Just kind of get the big picture out of the way. In terms of the long term, long term, long term, uh, there is no clear indication of just about anything at this point in time. I'm, I, I, I do see a big picture moves a. Uh, beyond these two points I'm showing you, below 133.10 and above 153.20. But really, uh, into November through November, it really is buying 133.10, selling 153.20, and vice versa, selling 153.20 outright and buying back at 133.10 to cover a short position. That is it, uh, both of which are moving up on a daily basis. And, um, you know, inside of that, we do have, and this is your 133.10, and there's your 153.20, we have this newly formed channel formation. Uh, let me actually take a look at this chart. This is a better one. 136.88. It did contain uh, Wednesday's lows. Can contain, uh, you know, I've got this as multi-week now. I bumped it up to multi-week because I really see it as a range uh, that over the next few days will become a much more convenient range. And by that, I mean right now it's wide, over three points wide, but over the next three or four days, they converge entirely. So this is a kind of an important area. Uh, 133.10 up to 136.88. And also, if we break 136.88, I think there's a decent chance we'll actually test 133.10 today. So once again, I, I like to call it a range of support that can absorb selling through next week. And as I said a moment ago, once tested, we can round our way back up to the 153.20 formation within two to three, three to five weeks or so. If we were to close below 133.10, that's another story altogether. Now we've got a good high through November, and then I would expect three to five weeks sell-off into the 110s, 110.56 to 113.45 in reach then by the end of November, where we could actually bottom out through the rest of the year and round back up again from here. So closing below 133.10, I would expect the 110s within about three to five weeks. Until then, this is your bottom picking territory or the beginning or the end rather. The beginning is 136.88. All right. Now, working our way up from 136.88, I just have minor points. I don't see any solid pivot points. Now, we've been trading this area quite a bit for the last week and a half or so, uh, but I do see 143.61 as in reach over the next couple of days, potentially today. If you're long from yesterday at 136.88, you're holding out three to five day swing traders for 143.61, where we could top out on a daily basis, possibly in the next week and fall back into what will then be the mid 130s, 133.10 climbing daily. Uh, and yes, uh, holding above 133.10, as I said a moment ago, uh, will keep that 153.20 formation in reach over the next few weeks. And if we were to close today above 143.61, I think within one to two weeks. So closing above 143.61, I'm talking to three to five day and one to two week swing traders. No good reason to be short NVIDIA with a settlement above 143.61. You want to go long. 
You may be long already following the testing of this 136.88 formation uh, on uh, Wednesday. Uh, and depending on your time horizon, if you're a two to three, three to five day swing trader, you're taking profits at 143.61. But I also mentioned how this 136.88 formation may con contain selling into next week. And once tested, we can continue higher up to that 153.20 formation within two to three weeks. And that is true. And so if you're long, based on that idea, a long above 136.88, uh, you know, you might take some profits at 143.61, but you're holding out. And with a settlement above 143.61, uh, within a week or two, we should see 153.20, where we could top out through the month of November and fall away again from there. And if we were to close above 153.20, and by the way, that same formation on the weekly chart is at 153.84. Uh, that would then indicate uh, the 165.94 one-year channel top within another couple, two, three weeks. But we're a long way from that right now. I don't want to spend a lot of time there. Right now, I'm going to call this not only the day trade, but the kind of the two to three, three to five day swing trade. Buying 136.88, selling 143.61. If we close above 143.61, meaningful gains into the mid 150s within a week or two. But if we break 136.88, not so much. Uh, maybe even on an intraday basis, we test 133.10 where we could bottom out through next week and once tested, round up to 153.20. So, you know, as we're testing the 153.20 formation, uh, you may consider a reaching for a 155.160 strike out of the money calls that don't expire for at least a couple of months on this three to five week play. And the inverse is true as well. If we were to rally up to that 153.20 level, which would be expected within a week or two following a close today above 143.61, you could at that point in time, when testing 153.20, reach for, I'll say, 135 or 140 strike out of the money puts that don't expire for at least six or eight weeks on that two to three week downside play. Last thing I'm going to say, and it's a, re a repeat, is that if we were to close below 133.10, I see no good reason to be long NVIDIA as we move through November. You want to be short into the the 110s where profits can be taken and long entry made on a position that could play out into January of uh, 25. Uh, is there anything else to say? I don't think so. I am going to leave it at that. Please click like, share, subscribe, check out wickedstocks.com. Take advantage of that five-day free trial. You can see Cadence Design Systems, uh, the stock pick that was put out earlier this week. We've got another one coming out uh, today. That is Thursday. Um, I'm going to leave it at that for Thursday's NVIDIA report. Uh, you have a great evening.